Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth. On this video, we're doing the quest, Flowers from the Hill. That can be picked up from Chloe here at Bill's Ranch. So, let's go see what she needs. Hey there, Chloe. Oh hey, you're back. I heard you might need some help. You did? Oh, I see. Billy talked to you, didn't he? I've been meaning to go pick flowers, but the planes are way too dangerous for that. I'm sorry to hear that. As a flower lover myself, I sympathize. Well, the thing is, I want to make a flower crown. Mom used to make them for us all the time. So I wanted to give it a try, but with all the monsters, I didn't know how I could. Here's an idea. Maybe we could do the picking for you? Sure. Cloud? Thoughts? What will you say? We'll take the job. Really? You will? The flowers grow on a hill that's got a great view of Midgar. It's kind of far, but a chocobo will get you there quick. Thank you so much. Head to the Wildflower Plateau. That is way to the northwest. All right, now this is honestly really stupid. Try to find a clump of them, and then you're gonna have Cloud basically vacuum them in and keep them from doing anything. And that's the only way I've found to survive. The absolute only way. Um, Cloud's probably gonna take a bunch of damage here, so let's just go ahead and do a Kiraga for the group, because damage might get spread around. It's not, okay, well that sucks. Let's see if we can get him up. I'm probably screwed here, but we're gonna try. Lock with Aerith. Oh, well, Claude's back up. Maybe there's hope. Let's suck him up all into the rock. Oh, well, the rock's blocking line of sight. Maybe. Tifa save Cloud. Oh, I think I've got it. There's like one loop that could cause problems. So yeah, just keep vacuuming them up even after they're staggered. Just keep doing this. And yeah, that's pretty much the only way to win. It just really doesn't go well. Tifa's unconscious, but that's all right. Cloud's gonna finish. You're done. One of them's like nap. Right, we've got our limit break if we need it. Oh, and we might. Let's limit break this one right here. You're out of luck. Triple slash. Back you. Oh no, he's not in it. Oh, Bill Hook. Whoa. Wow, just look at all of them. I've never seen these kinds before. All right, so yeah, that's usually how that goes. It's a really dumb fight, but it is possible. Usually if Claude goes down, it's over, but we did manage to get him back up, so we had a second chance. Um, let's just have Aerith heal the group a couple times. There we go. So, know which ones to pick? Yeah, I got this. As much as I want to believe you, your face says otherwise. <sighs> Good thing you've got me here. Sort of reminds me of when we picked flowers for the leaf house. Pick flowers using the illustration left on the D-pad as a guide. So we're actually going to use that as a guide to do the opposite. Last time we did it right, this time we're doing it wrong. So let's start with a blue flower. Hey, that's a good find. Those symbolize familial love. Pretty spot on for our purposes, wouldn't you agree? Pick stalks of blue forget-me-nuts? Yes. That's a start, but we're definitely gonna need more. 
All right, then we're gonna go with green. I just knew you'd go for the foxtails. I swear, I can read you like a book. Pick foxtails? Yes. A few more couldn't hurt. All right, and then any color will do. Let's just go with yellow. So cute and soft too. Perfect for a flower crown. Pick stalks of yellow calendulas? Yes. All right. That should probably be enough. Let's go give him to Chloe. All right, back to Bill's ranch, back to Chloe. I can see why she sent us there. She's like, yeah, those mandragores, I'm not going anywhere near them. Let's send the guy with the big sword. And Cloud was like, oh, I can pick flowers, that's easy. Not considering there might be like 5,000 mandragores there to shoot him in the face. these thank you it was our pleasure I'm kind of worried though what if mine's not as pretty as mom's well lucky for you I just so happen to be a florist I'd be more than happy to help you put one together really we'll make two right cloud sure look gosh it's uh it's definitely unique. One of a kind. Maybe, but unique is exactly what I wanted. I love it. Thank you. There's something I can help you with? Oh, Billy. Here, for you. Chloe, did you make this? Uh-huh. <laughs> Thanks. So? <laughs> Cute, don't you think? Yeah. Cute. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our quest is complete. We've got our team members leveling up either 65 or 67. I'm not sure why there's a gap there, but either way, people are leveling up, and that's a good thing. So we got Chadley over here. Let's do another combat challenge. This time we'll do one for Barrett. So let's make sure his gear and materia is in order. He's got a battle cry. That's fine. Valkyrian Bengal's good. Bulletproof Vest Mark II is good. As for his materia, he's got prayer, provoke, HP up, item master. That's useless in hard mode. Take that off. Uh, steadfast block, assess, we don't need that, drop that. Elemental wind materia, warding, poison, chakra, and HP absorption. That is just sitting there to level. Uh, let's go ahead and swap wind with a fire. We want immunity to fire. And this will provide it because we have elemental materia level 2 linked with it. So it prevents linked elemental damage taken. So completely immune to fire damage. And then let's see. We'll take a lightning. And we'll take empowerment. Because Barrett doesn't do a lot of damage. So we want to have him buff himself up. And with that, we should be good. Your efforts have yielded an astounding amount of data, Cloud. Perhaps you would like to use it to develop materia? All right, so we're gonna do Legendary Bout Barret versus the Colossi. A series of solo fights for Barret. Defeat a variety of fiends who draw upon their strange and mechanical might to tear their opponents asunder. And this will give Sharpshooter's Companion Volume 16. Big Bang Pants! 
so first things first, let's put up a bravery. Barret needs that damage. Uh, some of them are doing flamethrowers, which is totally fine. Oh, I totally forgot about bonus round. Bonus round we definitely want. We want that massive amount of stagger. And then we can throw out fire. That guy's staggered. Didn't quite finish off that one, though. It's all right. Let's work on the other one. That one. Oh, I think we took them both down anyway. The other guy just happened to be in the way. There we go. He's down. But charge, big damage. Maximum pure. He got shredded. Now we do have a limit break. Oh, and these guys are right next to each other. Let's take advantage of that. Oh. We do have that other one staggered. Hopefully we can still get him. Hey, stop stabbing me! Take this! Alright, just this guy left. All right, round one complete. Okay, now we're going up against the modded sweeper. First things first, get bravery. Right, and we want bonus round. And then we're gonna use Thundara. That will pressure him. I uh, probably should have built more ATB because I want to get a two ATB focus charge off. Oh, well, I guess I didn't need it. In that case, we'll do maximum cure. As we'll do another one. Triple the left arm. Ow. That didn't feel good. Good heal, but... Eh, we don't need to. Let's do Thundara on the right arm. Pressured. Let's see, do I wanna do the focus shot? Maybe I don't. Let's do the regular shots. Alright, fire in the hole. You ain't getting out of this. Crippled the right arm. Nice fury. Alright, and we might have got it low enough where it will destroy itself. Let's heal. Chakra. Uh, nope, it's not destroying itself, but Maximum Fury might push it over the edge. Yep, there we go. Alright, we'll just back away and block. Alright, next we've got a Gigant Bomb. Now nah, we're completely immune to fire, so it's not gonna be able to do much to us. In fact, it's only gonna be able to melee. So. 
We want to keep our distance just so it won't melee as frequently. But it's not dangerous to us at all. This is a freebie round. It's a freebie round. Yeah, breathe fire on me. So scary. Let's get this stagger. Alright, and I've got maximum fury. Overcharge. Pretty good damage there. Perfect block. Maximum fury. Alright, pretty soon he should. He should um, kill himself. Honestly, I might finish the job. Nah, I'll probably. But close. We'll definitely do uh, his explosion after this. At least he should. Yep, there we go. So, that's it. Freebie round is over. Alright, now this is the hardest one in my opinion, but if you do it right, it's not too bad. So, we want to build some ATB here. Get up to two bars if you can. And then... There's no mortars coming. We'll do a Fyra. So, filled ATB. And then as soon as you got two bars. Oh crap, well that's really bad timing. But we should still be able to get off a two ATB focus charge, or focus shot rather. Yup. And then we need bonus round. Oh. Be there for the counter. Now we need a bonus round. And then we just take him the rest of the way with regular shots. And he's just going to have more and more mortars until you stagger him. So the only focus should be staying alive and doing regular shots to let bonus round do its thing. And there we go. And we just rinse and repeat, basically. And don't forget, I didn't have a chance, don't forget about bravery. I do get a summon. It's probably best if I use my summon on this round. Plus, I'm pretty sure I've got Phoenix on Barret at the moment, so fire is what you want. Alright, let's do repeat the process, so Pyra. Oh crap. That's great, but it's fine. Focus shot. He's staggering very quick this time, so let's play it safe and do a chakra. Get our health up a little bit. And we've got limit break this time. Okay, well, that wasn't the best stagger damage. Let's get Phoenix in here. Phoenix is here. Alright, not too shabby though. Repeat the process, Spyra. Gain ATB. Focus shot. We're gonna need a new bonus round. Let's get that now. And once again, just regular shots. Don't do anything fancy, just keep shooting. You don't want those mortars to ramp up, and then you basically 
can't even move, there's so many. Thanks, Good job. Gain ATB now. Well, honestly, I didn't even need Phoenix. Oh well. Fire off. Process again. Ooh. Don't like that it's charging me. If I try to do focus shot, he's gonna hit me and interrupt. So I guess my only choice is to block and hope I have enough time to get off this shot. Let's see. Well, I did get it off, but now I'm very low health. Oh, counter, get away from him. Oh, oh good, Phoenix is gonna help me. I guess I did need Phoenix. And if it's doing that much fire damage on counter, that might actually pressure it. Or maybe just stagger it. Thanks, y'all. Oh. Anyways, bonus round. Once again, don't do anything fancy, just do regular shots. That's gonna build up that stagger the quickest. There we go, and we should be able to finish him here. Oh, especially with the limit break. And there we go. All right, and our final round is against a Hell Rider two. Oh, we got more of the cannon. You want to dodge that? Obviously, I did. Let's go ahead and do a bravery. Oh, we missed that. Now, you want to be careful. Just keep your health as high as possible. I recommend, like, over 5,000 health. Because he can do some really nasty combos on you and really, like, do some sneaky stuff. So as long as you're over 5,000, you can focus on damage. If you're under 5,000, I would recommend just healing. Him. Chakra. Now don't be um, tricked by that purple look of stuff, it is fire. So if you did the same setup as I did, then you're immune to that. You don't need to worry. Um, be good. Yeah, keep doing fire. Keep doing fire. That's what we want to say. Oh, I didn't put my bonus round up. I was wondering why it wasn't staggering. Bonus round. Again, purple is fire. Do not be tricked. Fury. Right, we've almost got our first stagger in. Alright, there we go. There's a stagger. Oh, and once it. Ah, my freaking limit break is like 99%. Ah, it's so frustrating. Why? Limit break, why you fail me like this? We can focus on doing Two damage. Oh, cannon. Oh, oh, he didn't do it. I interrupted him. Nice. Ow. Alright, my limit break's ready. We might end up needing that. But if not, I might just save it for the next stagger. I don't know, though. Maybe we should use it. 
Eh. You can also use it to save us from potentially fatal hit. Like, I'm getting pretty low right now. Oh, crap! Uh. Yeah, hold on. Think about this. Oh, good, I'm still doing the chakra. It just delayed. Do this. Like a chakra again. And yeah, now I'm kind of wanting to hold on to this limit break. Because of the nasty combos I was talking about that he can nail you with. Oh, I need a new bonus man. Perhaps I should have healed there, but bonus round is good. Oh, and my bravery is wearing off. New bravery. Check it out. Yes, keep doing fire. Get away from me! Well, whatever. If he's just gonna sit there, I can build this dagger. And perfect. Let me break. Maximum fury! And overcharge. Well, that was some serious damage. That was some good stuff. Do a track right here. Can't move! I don't like being this close to him. Ah, you missed. You suck. Oh, cannon! Oh, just barely dodged it. Maximum fury. Alright, we're pretty much got him now. Can't, oh, seriously? This is gonna hurt. Ow. Make sure he doesn't follow up. Okay. I was ready. Here he comes. Block that. I guess we'll play it safe in Chakra again. And he's done. Hey, did you see me in action? All right, took, that took uh, 12 minutes and 30 seconds. We get our Sharpshooter's Companion volume. All this data is incredible. Thank you for your contribution. Obtaining all that intel has only stoked my desire to learn more. If I could visit other continents. All righty, so we're going to go ahead and wrap things up right here. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.